This is the Weather Extreme video for Tuesday, December the 29th. Boy, 2009 is really winding down. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and we have an interesting forecast ahead of us as uh, a lot of iffiness continues, but let's go ahead and take a look at what we can see right now. How about this shot from Mount Chiha? Ooh, look at the frosty roof on top of the restaurant up there. And uh, certainly it is chilly this morning across central Alabama. Lovely shot of the battleship Alabama from down on the Gulf Coast at Mobile Bay. And then uh, some cirrus clouds visible and a few contrails there uh, as we look out over the placid Tom Bigby River at the Demopolis Skycam site. And uh, certainly a lovely shot there this morning as uh, it is rather frosty across all of central Alabama. We're looking at a high pressure system uh, centered over uh, Iowa primarily and Illinois, and that is uh, keeping things rather chilly. Uh, there's still some uh, light snow falling in the Great Lakes, uh, but most of the storm system up there is beginning to wind down. On our temperature map this morning, it is still rather cold across much of the United States and uh, the lower 48 anyway. Uh, it's gotten... Uh, uh, a lot uh, a lot chillier in New England, but uh, now most of the, the warmer temperatures, or at least above freezing, are confined to the Gulf Coast, a little bit of the southeast coast of the United States, and along the west coast, and that seems to uh, be the, the theme we're having right now. Across central Alabama, we're generally in the mid-20s at all of the airport sites, a little bit warmer down towards Alex City, where they're 30, but we're all definitely uh, below freezing this morning, as opposed to my theme that I had yesterday of the 32 degrees. Now, across uh, the uh, vast United States, uh, we have a number of wind advisories up in uh, the mid-Atlantic states and the southern Appalachians all the way up into New England, and then our new storm system that is going to bring us some rain Wednesday and into Thursday is beginning to take shape. And uh, because of the cold air in place, there are winter weather advisories in effect for a large part of Oklahoma and Texas, especially uh, central Texas and the Panhandle area and uh, back towards El Paso. QPF-wise, uh, the storm track uh, is uh, primarily focused on the one coming out of the Northwest Gulf, and that should bring us, as we've been saying for a couple of days now, it uh, should bring us on the order of uh, a half to uh, three quarters of an inch, perhaps uh, some spots getting close to uh, one inch. Uh, storm Prediction Center is not out looking any organized severe storms uh, for today or for uh, any of the next uh, several days. All right, here's the 06C GFS model run. There's our surface high pressure this morning. Uh, that, or pardon me, there uh, is this the surface high pressure as of noontime uh, as it's migrating eastward, uh, keeping things uh, somewhat uh, chilly across the eastern half of the country. At 500 millibars on Wednesday. Uh, the 30th, we can see our little short wave coming out of Texas, and uh, uh, it was uh, slowed down by the GFS yesterday, and then now it looks like it's pretty much on track for the rain to get here in the afternoon on Wednesday, uh, especially in the western sections of the area. And uh, so by at 18Z or noontime, uh, the rain should be just to our uh, west. That uh, trough uh, begins to... Uh, uh, deepen just a little bit on the 31st, and as it does, uh, our storm system moves on by quickly as we have a little low in the Gulf of Mexico uh, and over the southeastern U.S., and a lot of the precipitation is uh, staying down along the Gulf Coast. And the the uh, trough does zip by so that on the 1st of January 2010, you can see that strong northwesterly flow. And the result is, of course, that we get much colder air. And uh, as the GFS was showing yesterday and continues to show, it looks like the question will be, as it often is in these uh, kind of situations, is how much moisture will be remaining after the main front goes by and how much wraparound moisture we can get hold of. Once again, it uh, looks like a uh, not not as big a snowstorm for the New England states and the mid-Atlantic coast, but certainly another another snow system for them to have to deal with 
or not as powerful as the last one. But uh, notice the 540 line down uh, south of, uh, down in the vicinity of Macon and down around Tuscaloosa or so. So it certainly is going to turn colder again on uh, the 1st of January. We stay cold as we head into the second day of January, but things uh, in the atmosphere dry out, so I don't think there's going to be much in the way of uh, any threat for any kind of snow flurries as we see on the 1st. By the 3rd, uh, the big storm system over New England is uh, rotating some energy around it, and we see uh, one significant shortwave trough coming through the Great Lakes headed south. In the meantime, we have another shortwave coming through uh, out of the Rockies, and uh, that will uh, set the, the stage for another storm system. Uh, this is Sunday the 3rd in the uh, southern Rockies in the southern Plains states. The, uh, the, the, the two begin to phase up a little bit, on the 4th, and of course, uh, that's a pretty significant trough and got a pretty uh, long stretch amplitude down into the Gulf of Mexico. So that actually should force any lows that form to be very far south. And of course, look at those thicknesses, uh, the 540 line well into the, uh, the uh, Gulf of Mexico. So uh, certainly, uh, we're still in cold air on the 4th, and we stay in cold air even on the 5th. So the 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 word here for the GFS is that it's going to be cold as we get into 2010. The uh, More or less the long wave trough position gets established over the eastern uh, coast of the United States on the 6th. And again, that keeps us in relatively cold air with good northwesterly flow and uh, should be uh, dry. Now let's go out into voodoo country and uh, there's lots of changes going on and uh, there will continue to be because as you get further afield, of course, the models uh, have as uh, have a lot of trouble dealing with uh, all of these systems. You slow something down a little bit, and boy, that makes a big change when you get out to 10 or 14 days. This is the 9th, Saturday the 9th, and right now it looks like it'll be dry, but we're still in a cold pattern. And then again on the 13th at the end of the forecast cycle, 372 hours, and again, the, the look here is that we have a dry, uh, a dry pattern but cold. So it does look like for 2010, uh, the word right now should be cold, and uh, that's, uh, after all, it is winter, right? So that's what you should expect. Well, I appreciate you tuning in. Uh, as I mentioned in the uh, post, uh, James is on vacation. I'll be posting the one a day, usually in the morning, and hope to have it posted by about 8 o'clock. I hope that you have a great day, and Godspeed. Each day, there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faith. Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's news leader.